Hello everyone and welcome to another Anthem live stream. The topic of our stream today is going to be Javelin personalizations. Yes! Oh my gosh! Joining me we have two of our amazing developers. We have Francis and Leah. Francis and Leah, do you guys want to introduce yourselves please? Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm Francis Lacuna. I'm the character director on Anthem. And hey everyone, I'm Leah Shinkiewski. I'm a producer here on the Anthem team. So uh, the nice thing with starting with the new IP, one thing we really wanted to do on Anthem was uh, fix some of the things we've done in the past on Bioware games when it came to custom your, your, your appearance. And it, can we go in one level a little further? So I think for most of our UIs and the user experience is really driven around the idea that it should be frictionless, easy to use, and sort of something that you can just spend time really enjoying uh, the work that Francis has put together. So <laughs> I don't want to say get out of the way, but essentially get out of the way. And so <laughs> really what we've done here is uh, the Forge, which is where you'll be able to customize your loadouts. Uh, we've put all these little interaction points on the suit, which are your jumping points into all the places you can customize your XO. Uh, as you can see, Francis is sort of hovering around the different points. Um, We've got uh, elements that can change sort of the silhouette of your suit and then elements that are going to be able to change uh, how they look. So your helmet, your arms, your legs uh, are all towards the silhouette. And then we've got things like, oh, in the chest. And then, of course, your paint, your vinyls and your wear state will all adjust the physical appearance of the suit. And then ultra special, very fun animations, which will be for your emotes, your landing ends, and the victory pose. I'm going to start with paint, but yeah. why don't you take us away, yeah. Francis? Sure thing. So in the paint options, uh, we have six regions on your exosuit that you can customize. Uh, they are uh, very in-depth each uh, region. It's not just the color like how we've done in the past in our other games. It is a full material, so if I go into here, I can pick uh, the main region here and I can apply a physical material to that. Uh, so I can put the metal, I can put the fabric, pattern fabric. And so one of the one of the things again here is uh, when you're picking these materials, it's not just the color, it is the physical material. So that effect, affects the reflectance, the smoothness, and the color of the material. I love um, the patterns because they can have two colors. I realized that I forgot to do some disclaimers. Oh. So uh, shame on Ben. Uh, but a couple of disclaimers shame. real quick. Shame. We're going to show you a lot of stuff that's in here. Um, not all of it is available at the very beginning. Uh, some things you unlock uh, through the game in various ways. We also today don't want to talk about how many things there are, how you unlock them. Are there things that, that you pay for? Are there things that you can earn in game? Um, that's all a topic for a different time. We just want to focus on the really cool ways you can customize your appearance. So none of what you see in here is either the total amount or a subset of the amount. We're just not really going into that. So what I'm going through here is I'm just kind of resetting the default look of the Ranger. So once you've kind of picked the materials that you like, uh, you can go ahead and start picking the colors. Yes, so you can actually make your own color palettes. As you see, Francis has been trying this feature out quite heavily. And you can use sort of any color you want. The full color wheel is available here. As you create different colors, they're all saved into this palette so you can use them for later. So one of the nice things is, yeah, once you've picked your colors here, uh, you, know, you can go ahead and just pick any material and the colors will store and they'll save so you don't you know, lose your settings. You can go back and iterate things on the fly. So here, uh, just going through the regions from top to bottom, the regions are named in the same way that the artist had originally built the suit. The ranger suits have three hard surfaces and three soft surfaces. I could make this a metal, although it might look a little weird that if it's, for example, on the storm cape, it would be a little weird to have a metallic cape, but you could go ahead and do that if you wanted. I personally feel it looks cool. A metal cape, but it still flows, am I right? <laughs> it does. It's very shiny. God. Right. Can you make custom logos in game? No, you cannot currently make custom logos. Will there be more and more things added once the game is live? So the answer to that is yes, absolutely. Um, we're still trying to work out uh, the plan for all of that. Um, but our goal is to keep adding more and more stuff forever. As long as we can think of cool things to add, we'll add more stuff to the game. Will the Legion of Dawn armor have all legs, arms, chest, and head as well? Yep, so this is probably a good time to go dive into the Legion of Dawn. Um, so we can go ahead and start equipping uh, pieces of gear. So for example, 
put on the Legion of Dawn arms. And you can, the player can pick which ones they want. Like, it, it, it's less about, like, equipping arms as much as a bunch of attachments that reflect the, the character model. Each of the exosuits, like the base suit underneath, the Ranger, the Colossus, the Storm, and the Interceptor, uh, all have an iconic look, which is their, their lowest level form. All the part attachments that get added on top, they are topical. Although you can switch out your helmet. Legion of Dawn uh, armor pack on, which is uh, available to people that pre-order for the Ranger. And if you buy the Legion of Dawn edition, you can get the Legion of Dawn armor packs for all four javelins. Many people have seen the Legion of Dawn art on the website, probably not realizing that, hey, like that's the armor pack, but you can also customize it. Will people be able to make it look exactly like the image on the uh, website? Yes. What we will do is we will release a set of materials in here similar to this and we will have them name Legion of Dawn uh, so that way it'll give the players some guidance as to how to replicate that look um, so they can attach just all the Legion of Dawn materials to the regions and then just pick the colors that they want to go with. Can we save these personalization appearances to loadouts? Yes absolutely we do have a section where you can store loadouts for all your different javelins and edit them change them as you like and it will also store all of your gear and customization as well so it'll be the full package for you to build on. Metal uh, with the way our physically based rendering works is Metal is has an actual scientific value behind it. So if you were to pick these metals, you would get a different color palette range. Uh, you have gold, brass, copper, nickel, tin, silver, tungsten. Um, there's no alien materials. These are all based off real world metals. Will there be a randomized feature for colors? That's a great idea. I will take that one back. <laughs> yeah, currently, <laughs> so no, not right, right now. Right. On this, we have preset colors. So we, the, the artists have already pre-selected a wide range of colors. So for people don't have to every single time go through the color wheel and have to pick it for every single material. So you will always, whenever you create a new uh, loadout, you will get your uh, default ranger. So as you create loadouts, you can name them uh, whatever you want. Yeah, and so this is a really, really great way that if you make a couple of things that that you really like, you can swap between them easily, you know, but you can also just do stuff like, hey, go to all six regions and make them all black, and that will just look pretty cool by itself. So we do have wear options as well. Uh, so again, uh, ever since everything is built in a layered fashion, we kind of built it in the way so that uh, the players can choose how they want their exosuit to look. Do they want them to look all beat up? Do we want them to look dirty? Do we want them to look all chipped and painted? Uh, yeah, just cover it in grime. It's a little harder to see here. Since it is all material based, if you have cloth and you put stains on it, it'll stain a bit more like cloth versus if you were if you had an all metal suit, the the wear would make the metal duller. The way the the surface response of, of the, the wear will react differently. As we're looking at this, you can zoom in and out, uh, toggle on and off the little interaction points if you just want to spend time admiring your suit as well, is a few of the options we've added in there, as well as you can see, not in this screen, but in other ones, there's lots of options, so we've added filters as well. Does this only affect your appearance as opposed to stats with things like the Legion of Dawn armor packs? Basically, there's two, there's two big parts of the game. Uh, one is power and one is vanity. And so what we're talking about now is purely vanity, personalization, appearance, all kind of synonyms, I guess. Um, so everything we're doing now only affects how you look. Separately to that, we have uh, power, which is gears, guns, uh, and a few other equipable uh, parts that we haven't really delved into yet. And that's where you get your power and your stats. We've really tried to separate that so that there's one part of the game that's all about becoming powerful, and then there's a different part of the game uh, that's about you know changing your appearance to be the way you look. Another question, uh, can you apply a paint scheme to multiple javelins? No, we don't have that uh, ability right now, but I'm sure as we go into live service, we can take some of that feedback and make this uh, even better for you. But great idea. Cool. I knew that was no, <laughs> so I feel, I feel guilty asking yeah. you guys this, this How many personalizations can you save per javelin? I know right now we're looking at that. I believe it's currently set to five, but uh, expect that number to change. So uh, the, the vitals right. again is to answer that question about the custom logos. Uh, so here we have the, the vinyl system. N7 poggers going on in chat. So <laughs> yeah. We might have I'm to show gonna, that at some uh, point. Am I just going to go around that? So help me, I will turn this car around. Are they uh, Javelin specific? No. So the vinyls, once you, you have the vinyl, uh, it'll apply on any Javelin you have. Uh, and it should, within reason, look as good as it does on one uh, javelin as it does on another. 
So this is the one you. This is the one that uh, we made for Ben specifically for A3 because he requested it. So you can change all the paint options for the the all the other stuff we've seen, but what about the vinyls? Can you change them at all, or how does that work? We debated this topic for a long time, and we we tried to put uh, full control for the player to customize each decal or each vinyl. Uh, the problem with that is the amount of performance expense that it has on the system, where you're um, you're you're tracking more parameters, more data, uh, which did affect performance negatively. And on top of that, there was an added complexity, so you, you would have to double up every single one of these menus so that the player would have to not only you know, customize their, their personalized their exo, they would also have to go personalize their, their vinyl, which seemed like an extra bit of work for, for very little payoff versus the artist just making, you know, releasing these cool looking uh, one-off items. A, there's all the technical challenges and the user experience problems with it. But I think even as a player experience, to that exact point, it's great when you can see something and identify it. You know, it, it, again, we're not really talking about how you get things, but an example might be you complete a really difficult challenge and get a cool vinyl. And then you can use that to show off uh, to your friends that you got it. And if they can look at that and, and immediately relate that that's where it came from, that's what it is, I think that's a really cool way to show off, um, even if it's a little humble brag. Is there a way to match colors to the decals once you apply them? No, but that's no. a really good idea. Yeah. Chat is asking if we could see a different javelin. So first of all, can we show a different one? Question mark right now? Yes, we were sure. having yeah. some problems earlier. Okay. Sure. Do it. Uh, Lee, a question to you. So, you know, all the suits are different. Um, is there lots of different setup required for, for the different javelins, like when you guys are building the system? Is there uh, any complexity with them? Yes, like each of them are set up with their own interaction points. Uh, they actually have their own names for each of the regions. Some of them have more regions than other ones. But yes, there's actually quite a bit of custom work that goes into setting up each of these. But let's spend two or three minutes fiddling around, uh, just showing anything you think is kind of cool or different about the storm. Do you want to try emotes? Oh, yes. Let's do that. I don't know what do they'll do on the storm. But... Do we want to try it on the storm? Do we want to... No, no, no. Okay. Let's... Well, let's <laughs> okay. I think... Have we, have we ticked the box of we saw a different javelin and it looked really awesome? Oh, yeah. We're still finishing a bunch of setup stuff, so we want to show you guys some of the animations, like emotes and things like that, but we only check through them on the ranger, so we just want to do that uh, to be safe. So let's jump over... Oh, you set up a bunch I, of I, these. I just go ahead and <laughs> teasing. Some of stuff, why not? Francis is uh, like, look, I know you're the host, but I don't care. I have to show, so I'm just going to go okay. ahead and show them. So do you want to just talk through Leah first? Like, what are the sections in this screen represent? Sure. So here you're able to set your uh, victory pose, which is at the end of all of our missions, you get this really cool, fun celebratory wrap up uh, with your friends. So you can set anything you want there. Your rival animation is anytime you enter the game at the start of missions or you're helping other people and you make a grand entrance so you can set your arrival animation. They're not set up in there quite yet, um, but we do have lots of emotes. <laughs> One for next time. But yeah, there's lots of really fun emotes here. Uh, them that you can use picking. There's just all sorts of <laughs> great ones. This is my favorite one. Finger guns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're kind of playing emote roulette right now because we do not have custom icons in quite yet, so... Yeah, but they're all working pretty cool. Look great. Shout out to the team for sure. Yeah, this stuff looks great. I know we're not talking about uh, weapons or gear yet, but they want to know about uh, you know how that works. Are those um, part of what you colorize and stuff like that? So mm -hmm. weapons yep, do not receive colorization in the same way as the exosuit. Weapons will be, they will have unique looks and appearances. There will probably probably be another um, stream going over that. So you can have really mm -hmm. cool looking uh, guns. Yeah, and kind of same with gear. Like th there are some variations to how the gear looks, but that's based on the functionality of the gear. Um, and so it's not tied to things that you can um, specifically customize, uh, but you can tie them together in loadout. So you can pick we do have plaid weave in the game um I, I think you know the answer to all bioware ips that we own is of course we'll do shout outs and and stuff like that to those ips uh can you change the color of the visor on helmets the visor on the helmets mm -hmm. is it yes and your gear does inherit the colors of your 
your your javelin. Oh, that's so a great call. So I misspoke before. Yep. I said it didn't. Once again, thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time.